Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature a guitar that I've never played before. Uh, this is from Sugi Japan. This is the Sugi Japan Rainmaker.
If you're new to this channel, you might just want to subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank the lovely Miss Jeanette from Davis Guitar for passing me his guitar for review. Now, this guitar has been bought up by my friend Jeffrey because uh, I show it uh, to him and he just, yeah, just loves it and yeah, he bought it. In any case, uh, this is from Sugi, uh, Japan. And the guitar is, uh, how should we call it? Uh, discontinued by now because this I, I believe this is a zero two zero one three or one four model. Um, you have a basswood body with a very nice gold mist finish, you know, and a three ply uh, white pick guard. You have a maple neck, right? Goto tuners, non locking. You have a bone nut of a width of forty two mm. You have a very nice. Uh, kind of a modern C, uh, slim C uh, neck shape and then a fret radius of approximately 9 to 10 inch I'm not too sure and then you have a uh, really nice uh, jumbo frets All right, make, it makes playing so easy on this neck and I really love playing on this neck you have a three-way pickup uh, selector right over here one volume and one tone there's no split call nothing you have a Goto 510 uh, tremolo system now for the pickups you have the sugi original single core for the neck and the sugi original humbucker for the bridge you have a four screw neck joint really interesting neck joint really nice and that's about it all right um all the hardware are in chrome there's a string tree here which will be replaced by a test string tree uh how does it play? You know, this guitar is such a joy to play. I mean, it's been a long time, and it's always been a a a, a sort of a, a really nice feeling when 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 you get to play and hold a guitar that you just feel comfortable in your hands. And this is one of those guitars. The other guitars that I feel that I felt was really comfortable. Uh, in, my, in, in my hands uh, are the John Page guitars, you know, but this is almost similar to that f kind of feel, but it's just easy, you know, it's just easy on the fingers, you know, you can, you know, you, you can do intricate things uh, with this fretboard, um, just magical in a way so it makes me play in a different way too so i i'm kind of digging this neck and this whole sound that these pickups generate um on on first look you know i'm thinking like dude this is like a, a really a unique uh kind of weird pickup configuration single call and a humbucker so i mean i've seen this before um but where's the middle pickup you know but guess what you don't need a middle pickup. Um, don't think about it as a strat. Think about it more like a tally and a strat combined because on the middle position, you can get that really nice combination, you know, and a really chimey sound, which I absolutely love. And if you want to have the neck pickup sound, you know, just go for it and you have the real nice stratty uh, neck pickup sound. And you can rock out with this humbucker. I love this humbucker so much. It's so creamy and so nice. Um, it's not muffled in, in any sense, it's, there is a brightness to it, but not overly bright, so it has that cut, and it sounded great with the overdrive, you know. And the tremolo arm system, I mean the tremolo system works fine, so no problem here. Great playing guitar, uh, great sounding guitar, and if you're in the market for a, a well-constructed and a well and a nice playing guitar. This is something to look for, and you probably find used, uh, secondhand, pre-love, whatever you call it. Um, I've searched around in Reverb. I saw one in black, so that's interesting. Uh, I saw another one in Singapore. If you're in Singapore, there's another one. I think it's on. Maybe it's been sold. Yeah, I saw it in Carousel. It's probably been sold. So you can probably find one or two of these lying around either in eBay or whatever. Um, Interesting, interesting guitar. All right, again, I want to thank Miss Jeanette from Davis Guitar for passing me this guitar and Jeffrey uh, for letting me work on this guitar a bit. Nice. Let me know what do you think about this guitar and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
and join this channel, subscribe to this channel, press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of Patreon to support this channel, I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for the wonderful love, the friendship and the support. Thank you so much guys. So in the meantime, you guys please stay safe and take care of yourself. I've read that actually.